hell is this? Cafe. This is the barber. I don't get any new hairstyles for different places, right? I don't believe so. Nah, that that would make too much sense. Okay, let's let's fucking go see what those tacky motherfuckers want. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both pushing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work. God, it's like beads in a cult. You need a powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. God, bead, you're you're a fucking cunt. Yeah, but it's okay because he was an orphan. I mean, what? I don't care if he was an orphan. I'll orphan him. I mean. Chairman Rose has a Canadian accent. Every time we look at him, you give him a different nationality. Look, I just want him to be creepy, alright? Like, this man will NTR your girlfriend. That's wrong, but he would. Gonna shoot you. You can shoot me all you like, it's true. Gonna shoot you. Shoot him, not me! Shooting you both. Like, go in? He's, he's the one that would do it, and you're the one that keeps reminding me. Oh, I keep remembering, it's just like, you have all, like, these these dragon-type places. It's like, why are they so traditional? Why can't they just be, like, a regular-ass town? Because you have, like, because Hammerlock here. dragon, ancient, yada yada yada. Dragon, ancient, eat my ass. Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. At nation. Information. The of the and all thing. of this text says something. What? I don't know. But it says something. You don't need electricity. You have Electrotype Pokemon. Import a fucking Electabuzz. I actually looked up the Pokedex entries for Electabuzz. Uh, they do not generate power. They consume it. Oh. They're actually a uh, common source of blackouts. You want electrodes. They can import a few hundred electrodes. Oh, it's nice to go to the vault. Mr. Yeah. Rose isn't wonderful and gentlemanly. Mm. How much were you paid to say that? What? Wait, did you say is or isn't? Is not. Okay. Never mind, I didn't say shit. Hey, it's lost team, it gets lost. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, I see you're doing well collecting gym badges. Is this the variant Dr. Pepper can that has the gym badges on the top? <laughs> or no, it the pop tab the is a different ring. On the top pop of tab it. is a different uh a gym badge. He's... Nah, they've cut holes into the can just to like shove the badges into. Aw, Leon's worried about his brother. Ah, uh, fuck off, Leon. Don't give me this horse shit. Don't cite the deep magic to me, young man. I was there when it was written. <laughs> he has if a I can remember which way to go. I I'm sorry, I keep thinking, like, about that one Yancha thing where it's just, like, Oleana says, like, the money's on the table, get out. Because she's the <laughs> one paying for it. Leon, don't run. That's how you get lost. Oh, you're a fucking He's idiot. already lost. I can't believe Pokemon had the foresight to add a himbo oh, to Pokemon. Wait. Uh, between the two shops here... Is another one of those battle cafes, actually. Fuck battle cafes. Fuck you. Fuck you. Super Repel. Oh, I need to go and to the two, shops. Two hipper potion. They're hip with the kids, eh? Two hipper potions. Okay. Two hipper potions. Hyper? You you mean like like uh um uh. Furry joke. 
I mean, I could say something, but I don't want to. Yes, we get it. You want to fuck a Vaporeon. No, not that. Because you said hyper furry joke. There we go. Tell me, Sonata, what do balloons do? <sighs> there you go. That's what I don't want to say. Stop existing. I want to. Raihan's uniform number is 241. Don't do That's my shtick, you little slut. Don't call her a slut. You've seen the porn. I don't care if I've seen the porn. She's not a slut. You've seen the porn. That old man outside the shop is fucking creepy, though. This old man? Yeah. These clothes I'm wearing, they were given me back when I was a student. They're made from durable Pokemon silk. Oh. Oh, I don't like that. So he's content with the clothes he's wearing. But he's standing outside a clothing store, staring into the window. Right next to the changing... Right in front of the changing rooms, too. Hey, look, another Pokemon Center. Who put so this? the... The guy on the left... Oh. For the Pokemart is technically the same. Guy on the right does have different things. Also, yes, that is Raihan standing there outside the vault to catch you if you try and walk past. Oh, the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see, what was your name again? I, I love that Looks he just through has his phone. phone. Ah, right, Dr. Pepper. I love oh, that God. either way is kind of a sassy shutdown of shut up, I'm not here for you. Oh. Here, kid, follow me, why don't you? You know, Raihan probably is a nice guy, but like... Uh, He's just got that douchey hype beast look to him. Uh, it's it's his face. It's that fucking weird smile he has. It is. Him and his boyfriend Leon must get along real well. Yeah. You just went along with it. These all Ryan's trophies. God. I don't know what they are, honestly. What the, f what the fuck is his hair? You know, hair. What the fuck is this guy? It's it's weird seeing him like just right here, right? Just like oh, oh. you sped you sped past one of the best names for Sonya. What? In Raihan's dialogue. That girls are there too, you know. Miss Clever Clogs. One of the best. You can clog me any day. Wait. That has a lot of meanings that you don't intend. I, I meant to say that she can step on me. Wait, no, Sonya wouldn't do that. Sonya would be like Callie. She would be like, but wouldn't that hurt? I mean, okay, if you want. Yeah, that sounds pretty in character, actually. Whoa. Well, this is... That's kind of cool. Yeah, this room's cool. This is this reminds me of like the arena for the Steven battle. Not far off. Can you only believe that that was like earlier this year? God, it was, huh? Just looking on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. See, the sword and shield is such a great weapon pairing that even the Pokemon games can't escape its awesome influence. We get it, you fuck sword and board. Yeah, sword and shields, baby! Look, I play, uh, I play a lot of, uh... I play a lot of Monster Hunter, and sword and shield has always clearly stood out as the top weapon. And I fucking hate Scott Falco for saying that the sword and shield is a support weapon, because that's literally just fucking wrong. Ooh, it's just my opinion. You're just wrong, Scott. You're just wrong. And opinions are allowed to be wrong. That's how people learn. 
No, because the sword and shield isn't even a fucking. You gave me two revives. Yeah. Two revives, Miss Clever Clogs. Yeah. Billy. And who told you you could call me that name? She's not even wearing clo those are cute, shoes, though, but she's not even wearing clogs. Clogs are shoes, though. No, clogs are a, a and fucking. And they start with the same two letters as clever. Yeah, she'll be looking cleverly at this di- Okay, I'll stop. Look at so, this- So, were, were you paying any attention to that plot, though? Yes. Okay, what happened? She told us of the tapestry of the two heroes, the mystery of the darkest day, and how the statue in Motostoke City only has one hero, but yet the tapestry is saying the history clearly has two, so which one is really correct? We don't fucking know! What? Yet. Yeah. Yeah. If we've got any modern hero, it had to be our champion, Leon. No, obviously it's me, because I was born with a fucking hat on my head. <laughs> <laughs> you were born with a hat on your head and a can in your hand. <laughs> I can't wait for Shay to deliver that drawing to me. <laughs> Along the way to Stow on side. God, I hope that's soon. I do too, I've been waiting with such anticipation for it. Yeah, you were waiting with such anticipation I for Corone. See... Also true. That's what his name was. Tox Toxel. Then Toxtricity. Yeah. Down here. Just an old Just man. Got... Uh. Okay, Jared. It's not forest. You can. Grass Pledge! Oh. This is where you get those from. No, is it worth it? Not really. It's an 80 power move. So it's not Yeah, it's any... also a 10 PP move. Yeah, but like, Branch do you really need that this early? It wouldn't be a bad thing. Cause like I still have Razor Leaf and Slam. So getting the Grass Pledge would just be like a Grass equivalent of Slam. Mm -hmm. And more accurate. So yeah, I'll just get rid of Oak. Okay. It's about time. I'm six levels away from from becoming uh, Rillaboom. Yeah, from becoming Ultra. Ultimate Jared Prime. Jared Prime. Somebody just draws the 8-bit drummer as Rillaboom. I'd be surprised if it doesn't already exist. Head to Stow on side. Alright, so we have to beat Alistair for... Oh god, it's like playing Minecraft with the shaders on in the nether. <laughs> the orange Gatorade. What are you doing to this Pokemon? Oh, look at him. Cobra. This is a Gen 8 Mon. And he just wants to walk up. Of course, it'd be our pleasure. Shield Amelia just wants to walk on through. Well, hey, Dr. Pepper, you're heading to Stow on side, right? Fun of kids wearing the challenge band. <laughs> Fucking hell. Fucking let's let's kick their ass. Then you pack and all for the sake of silicobra. Did you really have to manufacture a reason to mm. Yes. These guys could be more effective Marnie stands if they weren't just like, ah, oh god. I think they're trying to recreate, like, the beauty of Team Skull with Team Yell. But, like, Team Skull I was, mean, like, such they, a... They, re they recreated football hooligans, that's what they did. Fair. But, like... I feel like Team Skull was such a lightning-in-a-bottle thing, right? Because, like... Goes... I mean, people, let's, let's be real, people thought Guzma and Plumeria were hot, you know? And the grunts and were they just... they are. They are, <laughs> you know? And Guzma could kick your ass if he really tried, right? Yeah. That man has like, a glycerin... actually just beat you the fuck down himself. 
<laughs> not even that, like, even with his Pokemon. Like, uh, Golisopod isn't anything to fuck with. True. And that's his signature Pokemon? Damn. The fuck. What kind of, what kind of evil team leader has a, uh, a, uh, a bug type signature? Even though he's not the evil team, let's, but whatever, you know what I meant. But like, Team Skull in their entirety was like such a lightning in a, in a bottle thing, because the grunts were hilarious, the situations you saw the grunts in were hilarious. Uh, fucking edgy boy, McGee, Mr. Uh, Gladion, everybody fell in love with Gladion too, so him being a part of that as well. And also, they were a something in just a game filled with fucking nothing. True. I really hate Sun and Moon, can you guys at home tell? And yet, you still praise it for its good points. Well, yeah, because it has some good points. You know, like, the final battle against Professor Kukui is cool. Uh, Professor Kukui interesting. is- interesting. Yeah, because you, you are the champion. You know, like, okay, well, what do you do now? Title defense. What? Uh, keep my. I mean, like you have How. He's a non-character. People loved Lily in that game, but like, she she wasn't that interesting until she got her outfit yeah. swap. And even then, it's like, what what Pokemon does she have? Oh, she's a Cosmog. I don't know. Could be more. Could be more. Definitely could be more. Oh, she has repels and she has the main character with you. Oh, that's cute. Lily, you useless lesbian. I can't <laughs> say that. She's like 12. I hate the fucking gym challenge in Sun and Moon, because it's... Ugh, gym challenge, whatever. Island challenge. It's the same fucking thing. Yeah. Like, it, it might as well be the same fucking thing. Oh, but Ooh, you don't I can tell you. I can tell you something that would make you hate Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. What what would make me hate it more? Uh, they get rid of the Kukui fight for the gym champion title. Are you fucking kidding me? No, Did it's they... how. It's how. Yeah. It's how. Because in, in Sun and Moon, he challenges you before you approach the Pokemon League as a final, like, rival show. Uh... Instead, in the alternate universe that is Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, uh, he goes on ahead and defeats the Elite Four himself to be the champion, and you rip the title from him. It's how. It's how. It's how. I'm not sure if you're just stating the fact or if you're asking how. It's how. <sighs> they ruined the best part of Pokemon Sun and Moon. Well, okay, it, it's a little wrong to say that he is the champion. You two kind of accidentally clear the Elite Four at the exact same time. So Kukui says, well, I don't know what to do here. Uh, fight each other. Whoever wins is the champion. But how beat the Elite Four first, right? Like I said, it's kind of an at the exact same time deal. Oh, Roxanne's dead. Like, he's in the room first, but he doesn't get to beat Kukui before you enter the room. But Kukui isn't the champion. He's Kukui's a title defender. He's a title defense fight. What? Why would they? Mm, that pisses me off. Because ending it on that, you want to have one last battle, son? Then he takes off his glasses. It's like, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill somebody. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill somebody. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, yeah. hurt. Also, you remember how Hala, the Kahuna, was one of the Elite Four members? Yeah. He swapped for Tired Old Glasses Man from 
uh, Sophocles plot thing. The blonde guy. But Hala is the first kahuna you meet. So seeing yeah. him at the end as one of the Elite Four was the entire point! I'm, I'm hurting my controller for this. I'm... I... Mm, <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's right, though. Uh, they keep Olivia and Acerola. They keep the random-ass flying trainer that comes in out of nowhere. They swap Hala. I know why Acerola's there. It's because Nanu is just like... I don't no. give a fuck. <laughs> like, <laughs> can you imagine Kukui being like, Hey, Nan okay, Nanu, you want to No. <laughs> it's like the fucking uh, next man first class is like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah. And then Kukui walks away and just like, tried. <laughs> like, Hala made sense. Olivia makes sense. They're acting kahunas. Acerella makes sense because she's happy to fill in for Nanu, who would just put his hat brim back down and fall asleep again. No, not you would go into Nanu's room and he's just like, oh. Well. What's up? I can just let you through. What? Yeah, um, I'm I don't just give here, a fuck. Like, I I have a I have a beer at home that's calling my name. <laughs> and you're just sitting here just like, can I at least can I at least try and fight you? And he's like, okay, fine. Then he actually kicks your ass. You didn't see Hop's face for that entire interaction. True.